Hello students, welcome online classes for the first year students uh, of of the Graduate Junior College in Arsenal Now, the, today class number 5, the topic is locus. Students already we discussed about the concept of the locus. So once again, so locus means the set of all the points is moving in a plane such that which satisfies the well-defined mathematical condition. Okay, now taking the one of the examples. So now here, so find the locus equation of locus equation of P such that such that here P A is equal to P B where K is equal to two comma three. And B is equal to 1 comma 1. Yeah, students, this is the one of the example. You have to find out the locus equation of P for the condition is P A is equal to P B. Yes, P, we consider the locus point and the given fixed points here A and B. Yeah, now this is the one of the rough diagram here. P coordinates we consider is x comma y and uh, A is equal to 2 comma 3 and B is equal to 1 comma 1. Yes, the locus condition here that means the mathematical condition. Here, in this, so to find out the locus equation of V, in this, writing the locus point has the locus uh, point coordinates. The locus point coordinates here, x comma y, that means it is the set of all the moving points. Okay, that will given fixed points, the given fixed points, the given points. The given points are one is a is equal to two comma three and b is equal to one comma one and locus condition here. The locus condition. The given locus condition is here p a is equal to p. That means the point is moving in a plane, so it is equal distance from a and b. So now p a is equal to p b. Yes, write the PA. PA means the distance between P and A and PB, the distance between P and B. Already we know this, the distance between the two points uh, so is given by the formula under root of x1 minus x2 whole square plus y1 minus y2 whole square. Now, PA square under root of only PA is equal to distance between P and A x minus 2 whole square plus y minus 3 whole square and students here similarly pb here it is also distance between p and b x minus 1 whole square plus y minus 1 whole square here in both sides both square roots are cancelled then after that here x minus 2 whole square plus y minus 3 whole square is equal to x minus 1 whole square plus y minus 1 whole square to expand this by using a minus b whole square expansion here x minus 2 whole square expansion here x square minus 4x plus 4 and similarly y minus 3 whole square here y square minus 6y plus 9 in this x minus 1 whole square x square minus 2x plus 1 y minus 1 whole square y square minus 2y plus 1 yes students we observe this on both sides both x square x square cancel and y square y square cancel and remaining terms here minus the side remaining terms here minus 4x minus 6y 9 plus 4 here 13 in RHS side here minus 2x minus 2y here 1 plus 1 here 2 here we kept all these terms in LHS side minus 4x minus 6y plus 13 plus 2x plus 2y minus 2 is equal to 0 Writing this uh, simplification here, minus 4x plus 2x here, minus 2x, minus 6y plus 2y minus 4y minus 4y, 13 minus 2, so plus uh, 11 is equals to 0. Here by taking the minus common, here 2x plus 4y minus 11 is equal to 0. Here students, so this equation is represents, uh, so the locus of P, yes, the locus of P for this condition is represented so perpendicular bisector of the line segment joining the two fixed points here A and B. Yes, for the condition, 
PA is equal to PB. The locus equation of P is represent A. So straight line. It is the perpendicular bisector of A and B. Perpendicular bisector means which uh, is passing through the midpoint of AB and perpendicular to the AB. Yes, here yeah, this is the so one of the example. Here for this condition PA is equal to PB, then the locus of P is represents what? It is represent a perpendicular bisector of the so line segment joining the fixed points A and B. Okay. Students, this is the another example depending on the topic locus. Yes, find the locus equation of P such that PA square plus PB square is equal to 2 of PC square. Here, when the given fixed points are A is equals 1 comma 0, B is equals to 2, 0 comma 2, and C is equals to 1 comma 1. Yes, students, this is the one of the rough diagram here. We are taking the locus point coordinates uh, as x comma y and the given points here a is equal to 1 comma 0 and b is equal to 0 comma 2 and c is equal to 1 comma 1. Yes, the locus condition here pa square plus pb square is equal to 2 of pc square. Now, for these conditions we have to find out the locus equation of p here. So, first we should write the, the locus uh, point here. The locus point coordinates. Yes, friends, locus point means it is the set of all the moving points. So here yeah, we are taking these coordinates as P is equal to X comma Y. The given points here, the given fixed points, the given points here, the given points are A is equal to 1 comma 0 and B is equal to 0 comma 2 and C is equal to 1 comma 1. Yes. And given the locus condition, that means mathematical condition. Here, the set of all the moving points so we are moving in a plane which satisfies the well defined mathematical condition. Here, mathematical condition here, PA square plus PB square is equal to 2 of PB, PC square here. So, the given condition, the given condition is nothing but locus condition. Here, PA square plus PB square is equal to 2 of PC square. Now to apply all these values, P A square means the square of the distance between P and A and P B square and P C square. Here to apply this P A square here, X minus 1 whole square plus Y minus 0 whole square. This is the value of P A square. That means the square of the distance between P and A. And P B square, the square of the distance between P and B, X minus 0 whole square plus Y minus 2 whole square. And 2 of, 2 of P C square, the square of the distance between P and C, X minus 1 whole square plus Y minus 1 whole square. Here to expand this X minus 1 whole square here, X square minus 2X plus 1 and Y minus 0, it is Y, Y square and X minus 0, X, X square, Y minus 2 whole square here, Y square minus 4Y plus 4 and here 2 of x minus 1 whole square here x square minus 2x plus 1. Similarly, y square minus 2y plus 1. Here students, here in LHS side to calculate all these terms in order to be x square, y square, x, y and constant terms. In this LHS side, here two x squares are there, 2x square and y square plus y square here 2y square and x minus 2x minus 2x and minus uh, 4y. And constant terms here 1 plus 4, 5. Here in RHS side, to each and every term, so must we must uh, multiply with 2, that 2x square and plus 2y square here minus 4x minus 4y. 1 plus 1, 2, 2, ja 4. Yes. Students, we observe this on both sides, so similar terms are there. We have 2x square, 2x square cancel and 2y square, 2y square cancel and to Write the all the RHS side terms we kept into the LHS side minus 2x minus 4y plus 5. Here minus 4x plus 4x minus 4y plus 4y and this will become minus 4. Yes. And after simplification here minus 2x plus 4x here 2x minus 4y plus 4y both are cancelled 
and 5 minus 4 is equal to 1 is equal to 0. Yes, students, this is the, the required locus equation of phase such that the condition for the locus uh, PA square plus VB square is equal to 2 of PC square. Students, it represents a straight line, but this is the parallel to the y axis. Okay, so then to be parallel to the y axis, 2x plus 1 is equal to 0. This equation is represents a straight line. So the locus of a point is moving on a plane such that which satisfies the well defined mathematical condition PA square plus PB square is equal to 2 of PC square after simplification. Then we will get a locus equation, it represents a straight line.